My No 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 Day by Rebecca Patterson. And if you'd like to buy this book, check in the link description down below. Yesterday, I woke up and Bubbles crawling around my room, licking my jewelry. So I shouted, "Get out of my room!" And that was the start of my no 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 day. Then I came downstairs and I saw that egg. I cried and cried and I said, "I can't eat that." And Mummy said, "You could eat it last week. Look, our Bob is eating his mashed banana." After the terrible egg, I didn't like my shoes either, so I took them off all by myself, shouting, "No shoes!" And then we had to go shopping, and Mummy said, "Please stop wriggling, Bella." But I couldn't stop wriggling, and in the end, I shouted, "Get me out!" Mummy said, "You will give Bob an earache, and you're giving me a an headache." And Bob poked me and said, "Yeah." At lunchtime, Sasha and her mummy came to play, and to have some peanut butter and grapes. And a cookie, but my cookie broke. Then I couldn't play nicely, and I kept saying, "No, you can't be a princess." And in the end, Sasha and her mummy went home. In the afternoon, it was my ballet lesson. I said. Belay is too itchy, but I was very loud, and Mrs. Clock stopped playing on the piano. And Mrs. Louisa said, "Dear, oh dear, perhaps you should sit in the corner then." On the way home, we met the lady who lives next door, and she said that Bob was the sweetest thing she'd seen all day. And then she said, "And how's Bella?" I was a long way behind, so I had to shout. I have a hurting foot, and Mummy said, "Could I keep my voice down and could I please stop lying on the sidewalk?" Then it was time for my supper and bath, but those peas were too hot, and our bath was too cold. And I was too wet, and it was too minty. After that, I rolled and rolled and said, "No bed, no, 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 no bed, no, no." And Mummy said, "Well, I think someone needs to go to bed." But I rolled. All over to my room, and then I rolled into Bob's room, and I said, "Bed is for babies." And then I yawned, a little yawn. Then I crawled into my room, and Mummy said, "Who wants a story?" And I said, "Nobody." But she came into my room anyways, and we cuddled up and had my best story about fairies and cake. I yawned again, and I said very quietly, "Today was a very bad day, Mummy. Sorry." And she kissed me a good night and said, "I know we all have those days sometimes, but perhaps you will be more cheerful tomorrow." And I was, I was, I was cheerful all day long. The end.